Welcome to your channel, Geology Life and Healing. This is Sebastian from Tucson, Arizona. And this time we're gonna talk about how to recognize silicification and make difference from uh, magmatic quartz origin. Okay, and uh, this is a video that's dedicated for the students who are at the university or the students who are already finished and they are looking for the first job in the perfect copper industry, just logging core, mapping, or um, something. And so let's see the video, enjoy it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This is the first sample to show how uh, we can. Um, make the difference between magmatic quartz origin and silicification. So the magmatic quartz origin is this uh, shape, this shape, and this shape. So we are talking about the rock type will be a monsonite. So in uh, the silicification would be this quartz vein, then, another quartz vein, another quartz vein. Yes, we see it, right? This uh, quartz vein in continuous in this side, the other side, and rock type is uh, uh, quartz monsonite. So I'll, uh, I'll put it in here. So the next sample that I have, well, we can see in here we have the quartz eyes. So that's a uh, magmatic quartz, not magmatic origin quartz. And then we have a quartz vein in here, another quartz vein in there, another there, another there. That's silicification. If we scratch it, it's a little bit acidified too. And we have quartz vein, another uh, quartz, quartz eye, sorry, part of the monsonite porphyry. We have a vein and uh, some molybdenite and more molybdenite in this side. So uh, probably that's going to be a B type vein. Next one, I have. Uh, this uh, quartz vein too. So this is going to be silicification. If we continue, we find, you know, this is the quartz vein, uh, something like there. And this is the quartz vein, it's cutting this side. But in some places like this, we see the quartz eye. That's a magmatic quartz. And this is this quartz eye, also the magmatic quartz. And we continue, you have a, a, another quartz eye. So that, that would be magmatic quartz. And the bayonets will be silicification and the another quartz eye, so this is quartz monsonite too. The only difference is uh, it's uh, more silicified than the other one. Because, so the next one, we have uh, this sample. And as we can see, this is the quartz vein, this is silicification. But also we can see in the matrix, everything is silica and we have uh, calcopyrite, bornite. But this vein has uh, um, potassium aluminum silicate. So this is uh, a type vein, it's an imperfect copper system and it is silicified. So the ground mass is uh, silicified and it has molybdenite too. So it's a, a type of magnet and it's, that's silicification. Originally, um, um, granite has like a 15, 20%, but oh, as you can see, there's way more than 20% uh, uh, worse. And uh, next sample, uh, I like the, this one too. We have uh, one uh, vein in this side, another this way, another. So when we move it, you know, we have another quartz vein in here, but it has more limited and calcopyrite. calcopyrite. And then uh, we are gonna call this uh, uh, B-type vein too. So in the rock type, this is going to be a monsonite. Uh, we, we see a quartz eye in here, so it's going to be quartz monsonite. So this is going to be the magmatic quartz from the protolite of the rock type. Mm, and it's very nice. And next sample, next sample will be this one. So we have this quartz vein, right? Another quartz vein, but it's still with a, a potassium aluminum silicate fill in bands. So this is going to be a type vein too with calcopyrite, bornite, and cobalite, and something we see also, this is silicified. So it's over 20% of quartz, that's silicification, 
and uh, and uh, that's how it looks like uh, in the perfect copper system, the, the veins. Okay, one more. If I can see it, if we see in this rock uh, something uh, we can find is uh, places like this, the, this is the remains what it was the potassium aluminum silicate so orthoclase you know we have another one but the rest everything is silica so the protolith for this rock it was granite but all the ferromagnesians including the uh, the orthoclase already has been removed and replaced by silica probably 80 90 percent of uh, silica so all the ferromagnesians and everything else is really gone yeah we have uh, some uh, 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 copper oxides you know uh, turgide is the this one and uh, but as uh, that's the strongest certification you, you might have in the perfect copper system okay thank you i uh, i hope you like it you enjoy it thank you very much thank you thank you thank you thank you